job by Brock Lesnar there. Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. And Cole, I can very easily see any one of these four participants winning this thing. Driving his knee down. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. Undertaker looking mortal here, but he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. Disqualify this man. Brock Lesnar going to work now. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. The shoulders are down. And the Undertaker with a quick kick out. Nice. Not yet. And he's heading back in. The point of that elbow delivers. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. The Undertaker in a very unfavorable position here. You can't help but wonder if he can turn things around here in this four-way match. I don't like his chances at all, Cole. He's getting absolutely pummeled in there. Well, I hate to sound so negative, but his chances of winning this match look incredibly bleak right now. Brock Lesnar going to work now. Check out Braun Strowman's offense. Oh, I think this man means business. Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous question to ask. You would be making a grave mistake to come at the dead man with misplaced confidence. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon from Death Valley still has it. I got an idea. How about you ask John Cena if Undertaker still has it? Ask Rusev how he celebrated Rusev Day in a casket. Age is a meaningless number to the phenom. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Did you guys feel that? Too? His shoulders are down. Corey, the fatal four-way tag match at WrestleMania was one of the most anticipated contests on the card. The Hardy Boys shocked the world when they returned to the grandest stage of them all. Once they displayed their trademark continuity, it was like they never left. But get what's Brock Lesnar putting together here! Oh boy! Oh boy, he is rolling yeah. here! Oh, it's over! Penny and predicament. Not much is known about Brock Lesnar's life away from the bright lights and sold out arenas of WWE. We do know that Lesnar's an avid outdoorsman who lives off the land and enjoys seclusion somewhere in the Great White North. Lesnar is proud of the fact that he lives miles away from his closest neighbor. Now back to the ring. If you're ever curious about Brock Lesnar's take on speaking with people, just watch his discussion with Steve Austin on the Stone Cold Podcast on the WWE Network. Lesnar's not someone who exchanges pleasantries with strangers. Look at this. Here we go. That was such a hard fall. That could take all the energy right out of you. The Undertaker looking to bury another victim. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Nice job by Brock Lesnar there. He's making a statement here with this attack. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. They have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. And it's The Undertaker, able to break free. Brock Lesnar going to work now. There's no recovery from that. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be averse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not a goal, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drew Mack uses the headbutt. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. 
Many times in a Fatal 4-Way match, we've seen superstars join forces for the moment and taking out a dominant entity. This could be something like Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, and Nia Jax as examples. When a superstar has that type of power and can be that dominant, competitors will put their differences aside in hopes of eliminating that force from the match. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Byron, you made an excellent point a few moments ago. There have been many times throughout history where superstars have joined forces in a fatal four-way match in hopes of eliminating by pinning or incapacitating that dominant force. Sometimes interesting alliances are formed. We saw that at the 33rd WrestleMania during the Raw Women's Championship match. We sure did, Michael. Nia Jax dominated Charlotte Flair, Bayley, and the boss Sasha Banks in the early going. While they recovered out on the floor, or, or they realized for that moment they were stronger together. The decorated champions eliminated Jax after a triple powerbomb that saw all three superstars assist in the pinfall. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Slam down with authority. Brock Lesnar starting to teeter. He'll need to find a way to create some space if he wants to win this fatal four-way match. But the question is, how much energy does his opponent have left? My guess is not much, given what we've seen him go through so far. Shoulders on the mat. McIntyre looking to end this. Future shot! To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Shoulders down! He delivers a hard clothesline. What could Braun Strowman do here to up the odds for success? He's definitely starting to feel the pressure of this fatal throwaway match, guys. Looks to me like he's on Dream Street right now, fellas. It's not a place you want to be when you're in the ring with these three guys. The bottom line here is that he's got the shoulders down. Yes! Unreal performance! some damage there, but was still able to pick up the win. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down 